So I try not to go on my phone first thing in the morning and just get straight out of bed instead. I would usually make the bed, but the cleaner was coming today, so I just stripped it all off and got the fresh sheets out ready for her and then said good morning to the dogs. I love saying good morning to them. They're always so happy to see me after not seeing me all night. It just fills my heart with joy. Then I go into the kitchen and get their breakfast and fresh water. I always do this first before I have anything because they're so desperate to have some food. And then of course I make myself a coffee because I simply cannot function without my morning coffee. Then I like to go and sit down in my conservatory with my coffee and my journals. I like to do a little bit of law of attraction journaling and also my five minute journal. Of course, say goodbye to Lou. I've been doing this thing where you write down where you want to be in five years every single morning. It's really motivational and it also really keeps you on track and helps you visualize what you want your life to look like. Once I've done that, I head up to the shower. I always take my coffee in the shower, which loads of people think is weird. Um, but multitasking, you know, <laughs> I have the quickest shower I possibly can and then head into the dressing room to do a little bit of skincare before I go to the gym. So I just put my face oil on, my sun cream on, deodorant, of course. I put sun cream on every single day, even if it's not sunny. I use a factor 50 because I do not want to get wrinkly. And then I just pop my gym clothes on and sort my hair out a little bit, just kind of brush it so it doesn't look like a bird's nest. And I do a tiny bit of makeup before going to the gym. I'll just fill in my eyebrows a little bit, put some primer on and a little bit of CC serum. Um, I just do this because it speeds up the process for when I get back, really. I don't mind going out with no makeup on, but it makes life easier. <laughs> then I head to the gym, have a little sing song in the car and go up to my Pilates class, which I honestly enjoy so, so much. I do Pilates five times a week and I do like a 45 minute to an hour session of Pilates, which is just so nice it's so enjoyable and I always get a protein shake in the morning as well for breakfast once I'm home I just picked out what I want to wear that day and start getting ready I'm home now the lighting is so bad today I don't know why but I'm just taking my vitamins and I thought I would show you because this is a new part of my morning routine that I am trying so hard to stick to not sponsored or anything like that but I thought I would show you what I take so I've mentioned before that I really struggle with hair thinning and hair loss I've tried so many different vitamins so many different hair like remedies for thinning hair and my hair is in such a better condition than it was before like the top of my hair like where I'm getting new hair growth feels so thick and healthy and I'm noticing all these like little baby strands at the top of new hair growth which is amazing because honestly my hair just stopped growing it wouldn't grow it just stayed at the same length it wouldn't move and I've recently been taking new vitamins that I'm really enjoying so I thought I would show you Firstly, Ritual Vitamins. I take two of these every single day. These are like a multivitamin. They taste like minty. They're not like gross. And I much prefer the like capsule things to like the powdery pills. Then I take one little biotin tablet. This is for like hair and nails and stuff like that. I take one of those. And then these were recently sent to me. They're from the brand Glower. And I take two of these every single day. I've been doing it religiously. Apparently it takes like six to 12 weeks to see a difference in your hair and I will be updating you guys when I finish the whole course because I've got three tubs of these right now so I'm hoping that by the end of it I'm seeing some hair growth I'm actually going to document what my hair looks like right now just so I can see myself I cut my hair pretty much the day I started taking those vitamins I just got rid of like all the dead parts if you didn't know I have extensions so this is my natural hair and this is where my natural hair comes to so my natural hair comes to like right at the top of my boob. Comes to, okay, literally right at the top of my boob. So let's see in six to 12 weeks, how long my hair is. I don't know if anyone understands me when I say that when I try and swallow a tablet, I forget how to swallow. I forget how to do it. I'm like, how do I do this again? Let's do some makeup. Take this off because I know that I'm gonna spill down it. It 
suddenly got very cold so I put this nice big starchy cardigan on and my leggings back on because it's raining it was sunny this morning and now it's raining this is why not why but one of the reasons why I don't like living in England that is it for my morning routine. I've just sat down at my laptop. I'm gonna do some editing, reply to some emails. I'm gonna plan out some outfits because I'm doing a shoot tomorrow. So I need to get everything ready for that. And I just got loads of little admin bits, invoicing, boring behind the scenes stuff to do. And I'm also gonna spend some time replying to messages and comments on my YouTube and Instagram because I just love chatting with you girls. It honestly brightens up my day so much. So if you don't already, definitely do follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I just love chatting to you. I feel like it's so much more personal. On Instagram, I message you guys literally every single day and it's just so nice to actually like put a face and a personality to like the, the username, if that makes sense. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next Sunday with a new one. Bye, I love you all so much. Bye.